Well, a lot has happened since I last spoke to you, Eugene, and uh, Kai was first up, and uh, I, kn I know every win is special to you, but because of the weight and the up yeah. and down, and he was on the cusp for so yeah. long, that was a special win for you. Yeah, that was uh, a special win, and uh, yeah, like that, that ball, like, like I said, they're all special, but that one will definitely stand out a, a little bit more, um, and he just did it. Yeah, in a spectacular fashion. Yeah, it was like he completely uh, dominated the guy. He did everything you could have wanted him to do, apart from maybe finish the guy. And and that's more due to just the guy being really good and really tough and being a very good fighter himself. But Kai performed spectacularly. Um, the punch, uh, the, the metrics for the fight were ridiculous. Like. The guy was in the double digits for the amount of punches he landed, like 14 or 15, one round, and Kai was in the triple digits. So Kai completely dominated that fight. So, Yeah, I mentioned to Kai when I spoke to him uh, about the physicality of the fight because it was just non-stop, wasn't it? It was like there was a lot of strength needed from both yeah. fighters. They had to dig really yeah. deep. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like Kai, Kai was only able to put on a particular performance like that because the guy was... Um, losing the fight, but still having a go at it, having a go at it, kept going at it, kept like trying to beat Kai the whole time. So Kai was in danger the whole time, and that's part of the reason he was able to be so dominant because he had to be so sharp and keep his concentration so high throughout the whole fight. So it, yeah, it was it was a great fight, physical fight, and um, yeah, gave Kai, gave Kai a, a good test that he was able to fly through, and again. He was able to fly through it because he's been prepared properly. And I'm not talking about the eight weeks. I'm talking about the whole build-up from the start of his career. He hasn't been a guy that's got five fights and just jumped into the UFC and is like, oh, yeah, I'll get better in the UFC. Like, he is that world-class fighter before he's got to the UFC. Now he's in the UFC. Now he can fight anybody in that roster because he's already at the highest level. So it's nothing but good things for him. Yeah, and it could be a quick climb up the ranks for him because of, of, of the how many people are in that roster. I, I anticipate Kai to be like in that top echelon really fast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good to see him get a good quick, quick turnaround and he gets an another chance to show his wares on uh, yeah, February the 10th. Yeah, that part and parcel to that magnificent performance, like people want to see that again and part and parcel to it being uh, close to home, so our backyard again so it's, it makes perfect sense for him to jump in and um, for, for, for me it's perfect because he is super fit already and now it's just now we pull him back a little bit and then we try and get a couple of small percentages more out of his you know out of his conditioning and his skill work than what we had before yeah. so we've got a bit of time to do that and yeah that for him for me like that's going to be a quite easy camp easy work we can spend all our time on technique and strategy and we don't have to worry about conditioning too much. So, yeah, that's going to be a tough fight for his opponent. <laughs>